Good morning, everybody. Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates, and it's time for yet another exciting workshop update. It's what is today? Today's Thursday. The only reason I know that is because the trash rolled by a little while ago. I lose track of days sometimes, folks. I've got a few pieces to show you this morning, and I'm pretty excited about some of them. Some of them you guys have definitely not seen before. Some of them you have not seen in a long, long time. And thanks to Wendy Gibbs, very cool the reintroduction of the hot tuna. I have not brought this thing out. Actually, more realistically, it has not been ordered um, in a while off the website, but it is a regular staple on the website. Really fun to do. And uh, this was not the uh, metallic mesh. This was just regular old Pellon Wonderweb. One of my faves. One of, one of my first meshes that I ever used was Pellon Wonderweb. And you guys can pick that stuff up at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joanne Fabrics. So basically with, um, with something like that, it's backing for things like quilts and pillows and, and things along those lines. Uh, but it really, when you, when you start having fun and thinking outside of the box there's a lot of stuff that you can find in everyday life that you can use and apply to baits and lures which is one of the things that i love to do so go pick yourself up again it's called pelon wonder web and it's a slightly tacky enough to where it'll it'll hold itself down when you pull it tight on the bait and then it's just a bunch of random colors sprayed i'm sure i was not the first to invent it but I, I definitely started using it a few years ago and then it just kind of went crazy. Everybody was doing the hot tuna pattern, which is cool. That's cool. I mean, it's certainly it's just colors and black. And it's a fish catcher. If you guys are into smallmouth or I, I, for compass angler, I put stuff on whopper ploppers and it's one of his favorite patterns to use as well. And I've caught a mess of smallies on it. So there you have it. That is the hot tuna pattern. And it gets some giggles because of the name, I'm sure. But hey, that's what it is. This, so I, every month, my, one of my clients asks for six random of my choosing. And occasionally he'll, he'll toss in some, hey, I would love this. Or if he sees something that I'm doing online or on Facebook, he'll say, give me a couple of those as well. But I think what I've decided to do going forward is at least one of his six a month is going to have... A buffalo on it because he is the buffalo man it's for Dirk so he's got a collection building to my left uh, of stuff that's going to him cats out of the bag Dirk you know what's coming to you and uh, it's just every month which is fun and it, it probably helps if I throw some new patterns in because he's just about ordered everything off the website which is super cool but if you guys are new to this channel and you're not familiar with Jekyll Bates, uh, I'll, I'll flash the link at the end. The link is down below in the description. And it's www.jekyllbaits.com. And it's custom work. I also do repaints on this kind of stuff on brand names. A lot of the times uh, clients will prefer to use brand names. So there's a lot of us out there that are doing fantastic work. Thank you for choosing me. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. It helps me feed me and my fam. Uh, this is all I do for a living. So uh, the reason that I'm just kind of oogling over this is that this is, I'm still using the new KBS formula and um, I had a conversation with them yesterday and I shot them some pictures and one of the things that they're really excited about, which it's, it's not quite practical for me because it's, I, I dip all my baits. So I always immediately transfer stuff over to a, a glass jar and then seal it with some saran wrap, get that tight like a drum, and then screw on the lid. But they're saying, which is exciting for you UV people out there, UV, um, like the Illumilite UV, that this new formula that they're in the midst of testing is going to hold better in the can itself and uh, last quite a bit longer than the normal stuff. So I'm like, oh, I've already transferred it. So I'm going to grab another can today, get a quart this time. If they'll send me one, I'll pay for it. Doesn't matter. Um, and test it out of the can because that's one of their asks. 
So very cool. But anyways, just just to pause on, look at how clean this. There's no bubbles. There's nothing. Um, really, really excited about this. And I, I took, where's my tester? I took this one fishing um, and knocked the snot out of it. And it's holding up really, really well. So took it in some shallow water. And um, yeah, it held up. So this stuff may be slightly more durable as well. So let's get into some patterns. I won't take up too much of your day, and I certainly appreciate you guys spending some time with me this morning or evening or whenever it is that you guys are checking out this video. I appreciate your views. Leave your comments below for me. I am going to get a spray session in in the next week or so, and I'm working on some, some other things. I've got a pretty big project coming up that I've been uh, working on for the Justice Arts Coalition, just more in videography, so my days get eaten quickly but I will do my absolute best to get you guys some new spray sessions up we've already got the first one of the year um, which was fun and it was on this Murray Cod so if you guys have not checked that out go check that out that is the winter crawl and then this is some smallmouth strosity but very cool look at look at that oh it's so pretty so pretty and that's what it looks like in the water and sunshine so it just looks like a minnow going through and you can also check out how this how this makes the noise it's it's got really good weight system in it this this one came from Schultz this is the Everglades on that pre-foiled also a Schultz product that's just so pretty and the cool thing about that is the pattern on the Everglades in my, in my specialty Twitch Bait colors really plays well with the purples and that bright, bright fluorescent green into green-blue. Just love how this, this is one of my favorites. It's real simple. There's not a whole lot going on. It's the foil that does the work on this bait for sure. But the colors also have some significance in how they play against this foil. So, Evergreens. Everglades, sorry, not Evergreen. Evergreen is uh, it's this little replica right here. So, I'm kind of goofing around. I'm testing different worms. I've found that the stuff that I really like the best for floating are the Zoom Tricks and the Bass Pro Shops. Um, so, and the Cream. Cream worms consistently hold up really really well they're a little bit tougher they're not quite as soft um, you definitely when you're doing mice and rats I'll show this one a little bit longer uh, this is the fluorescent yellow wounded uh, you can see that big chunk that I kind of scratched on purpose and then filled with red um, made it like a bloody bleeding eye yeah yeah I know kind of sick but cool and it works um, but you don't want a worm that's salt loaded because that's gonna not float the way you want it to when you're swimming it. I mean, it'll swim, but the floating worms, the lighter weight worms, definitely, definitely better. And you want a worm that's not soft. So some of the, I, you know, I haven't tried Z-Man worms yet. Uh, and then this is a bottom hopper. I like using those too on the darker patterns, like this ultraviolet. And again, just Oh, phenomenal clear coat. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I'm really digging it. I've been using it for about three and a half weeks now. Just super happy with it. So then, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got some goldfish. Super simple. I'm not doing really difficult patterns right now, although I do. Um, but this, these are not them. These are just for customers. But really effective. Lots of fun. Goldfish. It's not just for breakfast anymore or an afternoon snack after school and then this is sort of like a red yellow almost like a, a Rayburn red crappie type pattern 
with those almost fluorescent red eyes. Just fun patterns. Obviously, these are the Anarchy stencils. Just We've all been having a blast. Thank you, Brian, so much for sending us those stencils. And that's the pre-release stuff that's coming out February or March of this year. And we're pretty much through this. Oh, a couple more to show you. Um, you guys have seen the shad, the Mississippi Gizzard shad with those Jetson eyes. And the goldfish had Jetson on them as well. Just something different. I really like the way the blue plays off of that tenting on this at the top of the bait. And then this is the new and improved pumpkin seed. And all these are heading out the door this morning, so I need to get busy and get on that and get them cleaned up geared up and out the door and did I have one more oh yeah Just bent minnow this is the time again simple patterns pearl white very shiny with some burnt sierra sienna burnt sienna and then those walleye eyes on the front clear water killer clear water winter killer I'll be probably throwing these online later on. I think what I'm going to do, um, just not to, uh, we're already at 12 minutes, somewhere around there, so I'm going to add a small waters section to the website for 2020. Um, I get a lot of asks on, can you do smaller stuff for trout heads and panfish, and yeah, absolutely. So I will take all of your suggestions to heart. I'm going to add a new section on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. That's it. It's all the news that's meant to print. You guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you on the next video. See ya.